Hello Virgos. So I do feel this first card usually for all the spreads is like residual energies and that's why I tend to do my readings like um, the day before the month begins. So um, this is residual energy. So there is a very nice celebratory energy coming through the last week of July and permeating the beginning of this week. There's a lot of success coming through for you. A lot of power of manifestation and at this point regaining your strength, regaining your ground and um, basically establishing your territory and fighting for your domain. So all that conflict in the past has ended and you're in a really good state of abundance right now. I do feel that celebratory energy coming through and you might go a little bit overboard, okay? And this is, you know, basically drinking a little bit too much. And with the King of Cups energy there, it is um, essentially having, you know, suffering the consequences basically from having a really bad hangover from drinking too much. So that's something I do feel that could have potentially happened the end of July. Either way, um, I do sense that on the financial front, a lot of you are getting very, um, very good, like, reception, congratulations, like, getting the accolades that you deserve. You finally, finally deserve the recognition that you need or you, you know, just in general, you work really hard. I, I feel that for a lot of Virgos, like, um, your love life suffers because you work really hard. And finally, all that hard work is starting to pay off. So you can, you know, take a breather, you can relax by the end of this month and enjoy time with your partner, for example. And I do feel, in general, you're finally getting the recognition that you deserve. So you don't have to, like, um, overwork, overextend yourself to prove to anybody, and especially a lot of Virgos work to prove to themselves that, you know, they're a good worker, and they just have a good sense of personal responsibilities and work ethics. So you don't need to prove to anybody, you do it to prove to yourself, but at this point, you don't even need to prove to yourself any longer. Um, I do feel one of the elements that is coming through is that um, in the past, you haven't been sure if you were on the right track, okay? So kind of like um, that sense of divine intervention or divine guidance has been lacking. So you feel a, a lack of confidence moving forward with like work projects, with relationships. And um, you feel as if, you know, you had to push twice as hard as other people. Like for the past three months, you feel like you have to push so much harder and you have to put in so much effort just to gain a little bit of ground. Whereas the other signs, I don't feel that they've had to do that. So you almost feel like life is not fair sometimes. And what I'm getting here is, you know, all that pushing is building up a lot of inner strength, is building up a lot of, like, um, resilience and almost, you know, like, even a sense of humor. So even when things don't go your way, you're still able to forge ahead and push ahead and you don't give up mainly because of the resilience that has built up over the years and the sense of humor that is helping you get you through it. And as a result, once you reach the top, you're going to feel like, you know, that much stronger, that much more capable because you've had to push so hard and you've had to do it on your own and you don't feel like you were divinely guided. So it's a very beautiful energy and it's, it's making you, like, uh, appreciate everything that you have accomplished so far. But keep in mind, divine guidance is definitely coming through. So, you know, um, one of the things I would say, the only danger I'm seeing for this month is don't lose faith, okay? Um, you have really successful cards, and, well, cards that are indicative of success and material gains, and also, um, you know, having that spotlight shine on you and people are uh, giving you the warm reception, and the accolades that you deserve. So one of the main thing is, and this is weird for me to say to a Virgo, is um, don't let it all go to your head. Be humble because um, the universe did help you to get there, okay? So uh, whatever difficulties you felt you've had to overcome, just think without the universe's help, it would have been insurmountable. So humble yourself a little bit and just know that... Um, you're, you were guided along the way. 
your your faith was like gradually restored every obstacle that you came every hurdle that you you know jumped over or every obstacle that you had to um break through just know that the universe was there guiding you and giving you that inner reserve of strength in order to help you through it okay so that's the only thing i would say as for everything else it looks very very um favorable and it looks amazing so let's just start off first with this water sign here um, i do see the king of cups in the upright position so in general this is somebody that is going to be coming through a pisces a cancer or a scorpio male or female that is going to be going through to give you a lot of emotional support okay so in the past i do feel that um, you took a more complacent approach when it comes to achievements in life and when it comes to like going after the things that you want the relationship partner that you want or whoever it is that you had your eye on, okay? Whatever it is that you 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 value and you want to achieve or you want to acquire. Um, for this month, you're not taking the back seat. You're going to take the initiative. So if it's the, this water sign that you want, you are going to approach them and you're just going to say like, you know, this is what it is and I want us to date and things like that. So it looks very favorable. And I do feel like um, this more straightforward approach is going to be bringing in a lot of new things for you and new opportunities, okay? So you're grabbing life by the horns and you're not going to like settle for less at this point. You know what you want and you're going to be more direct about doing it. And I believe I mentioned last week for the weekly reading in which you're taking a more, a different approach when it comes to love and relationships in general. But I do feel across all um, aspects of your life, there's a more like a, of a go-getter attitude about you, which is very refreshing to see um, for this month. And at the same time, working diligently is still on the cards. There's also that element of timing. So um, coming out, meeting investors, and things might be a little bit stalled, and you feel like ultimately, you know, um, you have to push once again because um, you're not hearing the right communication from other people, for example. So you're, you keep pushing and you keep pushing and you feel like you hit stumbling blocks but all of that is going to clear up it's just a very minor obstacle um, it's just to pull you back and rein in that energy until the timing is right when you know the universe can release and propel you forward so there is going to be like um, I would say like expansion a little bit of a contraction coming through possibly from the 10th to the 15th in a work environment or there might be like um, taking a work situation to the next level with somebody, making incorporating them into you know your work environment, um, taking on that additional person into your your group project, for example. So there is that um, that essence of having somebody who thinks exactly like you, either in love. Or in business okay so having a very very strong connection here it's a really strong stable karmic connection so I would say whoever it is they deserve your trust they've earned your trust actually so um, I mentioned earlier that Virgos are just um you have a very extensive screening process when it comes to you know dating people and they have to make the cut before you incorporate them into your life so I, I'm I would assume that you would do the same thing for your work partnerships so I wouldn't worry about this situation but either way you're going to feel this you know lightning bolt like out of the blue very strong connection when you meet this person okay um, the only thing is when it comes to just like timing and speed it's going to work against you for this month so be careful and um, you know there is um I always say like um, Things happen on universal time, like the universe has a time and a place for everything to happen, for things to unfold, and um, we always want to push for it, or we always want to like, um, I guess like, um, we, we always want to speed time up, and we always want to like s slow things down, so things are never like perfect, you know, that element of timing it, it affects all of us, so we are not always like appreciative of the universe, like intervening and um, dictating the time. For this week, though, timing for the, especially from the 10th to the 15th, I do feel for a lot of you, 
that element of timing is going to be destabilizing, okay? So, for example, you've met someone pretty amazing end of July, and you want to take the relationship to the next level, but there's like very little sketchy communication coming through from them. And it's because they're busy. So, honestly, it's because they're busy. The people in your cards are all showing up in very good positions, so I would say they are very good potential, you know, um, stable partners. But because they're busy and you don't really know that because it's in the early stages of um, courtship, so you're kind of feeling left out a little bit and you're feeling uncertain, okay, and unsure about yourself. So that is happening to test you, to test, you know, how much do you really want this person in your life? What are you willing to do to fight for the things that you really want, okay? What are you willing to do and what are you willing to, like, uh, sacrifice? So, for example, what I mean by that is um, this person is not responding to you. It's been three days and you've just, like, you know, started talking with one another. Are you willing to just let that relationship go even though you feel a very strong connection? Or are you willing to let down your pride and just... Give that person a call and see if he or she is okay. So that's what I mean. Like, what are you willing to fight fight for, and what are you willing to sacrifice? So you you're willing to fight for this person, but are you willing to cast aside your pride um, just on the off chance that you call them, they might not pick up, and you might think that like, oh, okay, they're uh, avoiding my call. So I do feel here that um, things are kind of being stalled, so that you have to take the initiative. Okay, and then you have, by taking the initiative, you have to first decide on what it is that you want to do, set a game plan for yourself. And um, I mentioned this before, when Virgos have a game plan, it rarely fails. So it's just going to require a little bit more work on your end in order to come up with that game plan, which ultimately will um, basically solidify and um, make you think about and reflect on what it is that you really want to achieve versus what it is that you think might be a waste of your time. So, you know, universal time is a blessing and a curse. It is forcing us to um, solidify our plans and it's forcing us to also, like, do things in a purposeful manner so that we don't scatter our energies far and wide. Because for this month, I do feel that um, a lot is happening on your love sector. On... Yeah, in general, I do feel like it's um, a lot of success in the business front, but also in love. So I do sense that um, since so many things are happening and solidifying, you're going to be in a state where you feel like nothing can ever, ever go wrong. I should just wing it, you know, which is something I don't feel a lot of you are going to do. But I do sense that um, you have to rein in this energy take care of things in a systematic timely manner as indicated in this cards you get one done you hang it up and you move on to the next okay things have to be done in succession because more than anything as an earth sign you need that innate um, sense of like regularity you need that innate sense of stability in order for you to operate at your best okay so don't miss mi excuse me don't mix business with pleasure that is coming through. I don't feel there's any dangers associated with it, but for the first week, for, for the first two weeks, so like from August 1st until like the, the 9th, you're going to have to like concentrate and um, a lot of reports or something like that, a lot of clients have to be approached, a lot of reports need to be sent out. So all this stall communication on the love front is being stalled to help you so you don't get distracted. So if you can think of it like that and just thank the universe that, you know, things are not bombarding you all at the same time because it might lead you astray. So there is a, a sense of humility that is going to come in for you. And more than anything, I do feel that, um, you know, like um, I do feel too major events in, in terms of success, you know, which is like coming in the first of the month and then coming in again around the 16th to the 22nd. And when those little, um, you know, bursts of success and recognition come through, just, um, just thank the universe for backing you up 
and giving you an opportunity for these blessings to come into your life, okay? And like slowing things down so that you can concentrate on one, one thing and not get distracted and not scatter your energy far and wide, okay? Um, you know, a lot of Virgos are very systematic and um, you have a very like... Um, you have like a very, well, great eye for detail, but also like a very systematic mind. So um, you you create checklists when you you see order out of chaos, and you can create order out of chaos. Okay, so never mind the staying up late at night trying to court you know somebody who doesn't re return your text messages who doesn't return your call there is going to be somebody else coming through who is a little bit more physically emotionally available so what I mean is you know trust those tangible things trust concrete actions rather than shifty promises okay so that's going to be um, the important thing to carry with you for this month and trust that you're on the right track and that you don't you don't need um another person to bounce ideas off of. It's always nice, but you don't need it because you, you have very good intuition and you have a very structural mind that was bestowed upon you by the universe to get you where you are today. So trust that and um, trust that you're capable, okay? So I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful, successful month. I do feel that it's going to be a very good month in, for August for a lot of signs in general. It's, um, it's very love money oriented. So um, enjoy yourself and, you know, stay calm and collected and get through one thing at a time, okay? So I'll see you next week for the weekly reading.